you watched my previous video, I showed you how to connect to a MySQL database using PHP. Here you see an example of my try catch statement, which includes my database connection, along with a if statement to test the connection to see if I'm connected or not. Here I have the actual connection string uh, that I'm using to connect to my database, which gives my host name, username, password, the name of my database, the port I'm using on MAMP, and then also my uh, database connection string. Next, I'm going to work on creating my form that I'm going to use to input my data. So form, action, and I am going to post to the same page, so index.php. My method is going to be post, and then I'm going to give the form an ID of test, and I'm going to go ahead and close out my form. Okay, each of my sections I'm going to put in a paragraph tag. So label for, I'm going to give my uh, text box name, uh, I'm going to call it label first name. Now I have to make the actual text box. So this is going to be input, type, uh, text. Then my name of this text box is going to be, uh, you know what? Label. You know, I need to name this as first name because it would make sense to name a text box label first name. So I'm going to just change that label also to first name. So I'm going to put that in paragraph tag and just close it out. Now I'm going to create a um, section for my last name. So I'm going to put that in a paragraph tag. Label. Last name, last name, label, closing tags, input type, text, name, it's going to be last name, just close out my paragraph tags and open a new one, this is going to be for my age, Input type is text. My name is going to be age. Label for email. Name, email. Close out my paragraph tags. And then I'm going to have to create my uh, submit button. So this is input type, uh, submit, the value of submit. And actually I'm going to name my button because I want to be able to find it once I post the data. I'm going to just call it submit. Close that out and close my form out. So here's my current completed form. Now I'm going to add code that will allow me to uh, insert data into my database. Okay, now that we have our form established, we should start on our SQL statement. So I'm just going to name a variable called uh, SQL. And then I'll we'll put insert into users, F name for first name, L name for last name, email, age, I mean age, email, values, I'm going to create a value, variable called um, first name, another variable called last name, age, and email. Right, so I'm create my variables. First name is going to be equal to posted data of first name.
last name, post last name, age, post age, email, post email. Okay, now I'm going to create my SQL insert statement with a MySQLi query, my database connection that we created earlier. Uh, then I'm using my SQL statement. So I'm going to just update my web page and I'm going to start entering information. So Kevin Reese 43 at kevinreese at gmail.com. And then I'll check my application. So you see Kevin Reese at 43. Refresh Mike Jones 54, Mike Jones at hotmail.net. John Hill, John Hill 34, refresh, and so on. Okay, now I'm going to spend a little time trying to style my form and create some um, CSS style tags. All right, body. I want my body background color to be tan. Uh, my label tags, I want those to float left, my width to be 100 pixels, and my text align to be right. Clear both. And as you can see, it kind of lines that up. Padding right, 5 pixels. And then my form that I call, I give the ID of test. I want that background color to be yellow. Again, this is the world's ugliest form. But I just want to show the concept. My width is 300 pixels. My border is solid. And I want my uh, form to float left also. Okay, let's say we want to take this a little further and let's show the data uh, before we actually post it into the uh, SQL database. So I'm going to create another div section. I'm going to call it result. going to make a CSS tag also uh, called result. I'm just going to copy and paste the information from test. I'm just going to change the background color. So it'll be similar. Uh, and then I'm going to also give it height. So it'll still show even though there's nothing in it. Give it a margin, some spacing between the two uh, forms and the result set. So PHP, if it's set, that means if the uh, submit button was uh, submitted. So post submit. OK, I'm going to just echo first name, then the first name variable. Echo last name, last name variable. Age, age variable, email, email variable. And I'm going to just add break tags. Uh, just so it's not all on the same line when it shows the information. And now uh, we can test it out. So Mike Jones 32, then Mike Jones 32. If I submit nothing, then it shows nothing. So I'm just going to type else, echo, uh, need info submitted. So this will show up if nothing was submitted in the form. So if the submit button's not hit at all, as if you just came to the page, um, this message will show inside the box instead. But uh, so it needs info to submit. So I'm going to type in James Bond 45 James Bond at gmail.com. Enter. And this is our form. Now, before I end this tutorial, I just want to make clear that this video is not about best practices. Uh, there's additional code you can add, uh, so all fields have to be uh, completed. And then there's also SQL prepare statements we can use in order to make our, uh, our queries more uh, secure. Uh, but I could cover that in a later video. Thank you.